This is Janelle Penny, Editor-in-Chief with Buildings Magazine, and I'm here with Darren Ziggis, who is the Sales Director for Pure Concepts Limited. And today we're learning about uh, a new solution for menstrual care disposal, is that right? Yes, yes, that's correct. Yep, it's, Great. it's been a well overlooked category probably for the last, probably close to 40 years and the product that's been in there just has never ever changed. So we thought that the ladies deserved something that was hygienic and definitely better to use for them. Great. What's the problem with the existing you know, metal box with the hinge lid? Wow. Oh, where do I start? <laughs> so with that, I guess number one is that the ladies do have to touch the unit and that's also where the entry point is, where the dressings go. Um, the second one is that when you do open up that lid, you're exposed to all that waste. From a, from a hygiene side and also from a visual side. And the third one is obviously from the custodians and the cleaners that they're exposed to all that waste as well. Um, Pod Petite answers those questions and solves that completely. Great, so let's take a look at Pod Petite. Speaking of the product, can you show me how it works? Yeah, for sure. So this one here you see is the automatic. Mm -hmm. So it's a completely uh. touch-free, um, no need to lift or anything like that. Um, how the unit operates is that it's uh, the liner goes completely up to the top of the unit. Okay. So a common thing that can happen is pads can miss the wax liner and fall to the side. And then unfortunately the cleaners then have to contact that directly and dispose of it. So it's very unhygienic and in my opinion just not fair on the cleaners. So with having the touch-free unit and the liner up to the top, it will never ever miss the bag. Now the, one of the big differences here is the servicing. So what you have inside is a, is a continuous liner. So it's a matter of pulling the liner down, tearing off, disposing of this, pulling this down again, and then just as simply as tying a knot, and the servicing's done. Great. So there's no exposure to the waste, it's completely contained, and obviously it's a very easy and safe way for the cleaners to service. Excellent. Uh, we also have the manual version as well, which is just a, a lifting. Okay. And what the big difference here again is that you're lifting, where you lift is away from the entry point, which is important, and still you, you, you're not exposed and there's no visual signs or sighting of the waste. Um, and obviously with the colours, you know, we've got the stainless range, we've got the white, the black, but we can also customise as well. So you can sort of bring a design element to the washroom, which once again sort of been missing. So we feel these types of things are very, uh, I guess, influential for the market and something that really needed to change. Great. How do you know if you want the touch-free one versus the one with the little handle on top? Well, it's a real preference, I guess. I mean, usually mm -hmm. if, the, if you've got an environment where you've got touch-free soap and touch-free taps, um, even touch-free paper, usually the, I guess the owner will flow with having a touch-free unit. Um, obviously price does come into it as well. But I guess the essential thing there is that um, you still get the benefits of the unit, but it's either whether it's touch-free or it's manual. But inside the unit is still the same, which is important for the cleaners. Um, but for the automatic, it's definitely more popular. Um, but obviously, this is still a huge market for the manual unit. Great. And where can we learn more? Oh, well, we've got our website, which is uh, www.senipod.com. S, S A N I P O D. Okay. Um, or, um, yeah, there's find that online um, and you can find our, our distributors. Um, you can talk to our US agent as well, or you can contact us directly. Great, thank you so much, Darren. That's right, thank you.